Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are discussing how to cop and predicting the resale prices of the upcoming Kevin Bradley Nike SB Blazer in the low and mid top silhouette. I'm excited for this because we don't get too many Blazer collabs so it's something new. Although I don't think anything is officially confirmed just yet, Modern Notoriety has announced that both shoes are set to drop on June 2nd with a retail price of $80 for the low and $85 for the mid. Now this is a very low retail price and that is also a big reason why both of these shoes will definitely sell out in my opinion. One thing I do want to mention is that different shops may charge different amounts and release the shoes at different dates. But overall, it seems like the majority of stores will release these on June 2nd. These are going to be an orange label exclusive drop, meaning only Nike skate shops will get them. But we'll get more into that once I discuss how to cop these sneakers. To start off, I personally think the low top pair is the nicer of the two by far. Its creativity and uniqueness featuring a cloud swoosh, raindrop heel tab, and velcro straps really set it apart from any other collab we've seen lately and is definitely more eye-catching than the red mid-top pair. I can't really express how much I like these low tops as they are for sure one of my top 10 releases of this year so far. However, the mid-top shines in its own way by featuring a bold red color all throughout the sneaker with some cool details speckled in throughout the shoe as well, so it's definitely also a nice collector's piece. Either way, I would take both to retail given the opportunity. Jumping into how to cop the sneaker, as mentioned, this is going to be an orange label Nike Skate Shop exclusive. Again, most stores will likely be dropping them on June 2nd, but some may do so earlier and some later. So far, a few stores have randomly dropped these already and, may, and many have announced that they are dropping them early on May 30th. Unfortunately, I have not been able to get a full store list as I usually try to do in these types of videos, but I am going to link down the Nike SB store list down below for you to check your local shops for any release information. What you need to do is click the orange label box at the top and go from there. I would say do a quick Google search, Twitter search, Instagram search, or check with your local sh skate shops to see who is getting them and what date they are dropping these shoes. Do that as soon as possible because as I mentioned, some stores are actually dropping them early. And since stores are starting to reopen across the country, they may sell them at random dates, earlier than drop, later than drop. You just have to check with your store and find out from there. Now through a quick Twitter search, I have seen stores doing first come first serve both online and in store, but some may use raffles for their drops, which will be either done through email signups or through the cop the app as we've seen many skate shops do so recently. For that, you would need to download the cop the app and enter raffles through there. I am assuming they will also be dropping on Nike sneakers at a later date but nothing has been confirmed by Nike yet so stay tuned for that and check your Nike sneakers app constantly for updates. I will say that the low top is most likely going to be much more difficult to cop so if you don't care about which one you get and just want one of them then go for the high top first during the first come first serve drops as less people will be trying to buy it and you will definitely have a better chance of getting a pair. As always, if you are fine with getting half sizes, then go for half sizes because I found that they are usually easier to get since people try to go for full sizes most of the time. That's just what's happened to me, but I have seen many of my friends and others also get half sizes easier, so it's up to you if you want to try that. Now let's get into the resale predictions of the shoe. First, I want to say that the low top is going to be the money shoe. Those are going to resell for a high amount based off the early reaction I've seen from people. However, the high top will likely be profitable too. Starting with the high top or mid top, I anticipate the resale prices to fall between 130 to 180 depending on the size. I think that common sizes such as 8 through 12 will likely end up closer to the 160 range and will be the more profitable sizes with a few outliers here and there. I'm not sure if the high top will go up in price over time, so if you do want cash then I suggest selling them ASAP and making your money. However, since it's a collaboration, it does have a chance of going up over time, so it's really up to you. But again, for these, I would say just sell them and make your money. Now the low top will likely resell between 160 and 250 depending on the size. Now that's a pretty wide range, but again, it all depends on the size of the shoe, and that's where we base our predictions off of. 
Now, I could see these going for even more or less depending on just how limited they are. But overall, I feel that a good amount of stores will be getting them and the price range I have suggested is likely going to be the average to kick things off. Once again, I do anticipate common sizes 8 through 12 to do the best with an average resale price of around 220 However, smaller sizes may start doing really well once the shoe catches on and more people know about it. Now, although this is a really nice collab, it's not really that hyped and not too many people know about it. So I feel like once people start seeing the shoe more on fee or, you know, other people selling them or on StockX, something like that, they'll definitely start paying more for them. So definitely pay attention to that. Personally, the most I would pay is 200 for these, but I do see people paying much more since it is an amazing design and because there are a good amount of Nike Blazer fans out there who would love to add this to their collection. These, I would say hold on to for the long run. Once again, once it catches on, it'll probably go up in price and they do seem to be a fan favorite and I do have a feeling that they will go up over time as less that stock pairs are left on the market. Also, it is a super wearable shoe and is going to get a lot of attention, so that also adds to the bright upside. To wrap things up, I just want to clarify everything I stated in this video is just my opinion based on my sneaker knowledge and buying and selling sneakers for a long time. None of these pictures were mine, so thank you for everyone who, were, who was able to provide these pictures. And if you did find this video helpful, please make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for my channel for more upcoming resale predictions and sneaker reviews thank you guys and good luck on the drop if you are able to cop then let me know down below and if you have any other questions please comment down below as well thank you